What's up everyone? April Dunham here. Happy Template Tuesday. This week I'm going to talk about some cool new functionality with Microsoft Teams called Microsoft Teams Templates. These Microsoft Teams Templates are a pre-built definition of a team structure. Some of the things that you'll be able to do with these templates is ensure that a certain number of standard channels are added to your team and even pre-install different applications. I'll walk you through all the details that you need to know about this and how to create a Teams template from scratch coming up. Let's take a look at how teams are structured so we can understand what we can customize with these teams templates. A team is comprised of one or many different channels. So one of the key things that we can do here with these teams templates is predefine a set of channels to be included with your team. The other major component are tabs. These are applications that you surface up with inside the channels of your team. So let's talk use cases now. Anytime that you need to standardize something, say for your departmental teams, you want to have a standard set of channels and apps, or maybe your project related team sites where you want certain channels and apps for that in different tabs or employee onboarding. These are all great use cases for creating a Teams template to standardize this. Now that we have a good understanding of what Teams templates are, let's take a look at how we can actually start using these. To create a Teams template, you need to go to the Teams Admin Center. So in order to create one, you will need to be a Teams administrator. To get to the Teams Admin Center, you'll go to your Office 365 portal and click on the Admin icon. From here, we'll expand this out and select the Teams option from the Admin Center. To get to the Teams templates, you'll select the Teams tab from the left-hand side, expand that out, and go to the Teams template section. And when we get here, you'll see that we have a bunch of predefined Teams templates already available to us. So some of those scenarios that I mentioned earlier for, say, creating a Teams template for project management, well, there's already one created. So if we just click on this to take a peek, we'll see the title and description of this template and how many channels and apps that this template includes. So here in the Channels tab, we see that this one's going to create a general, an announcements, a resources, and a planning channel. And with these channels and teams, we have the ability to do what's called pinning to ensure that channels show up by default. So that's what this setting means, yes or no on each of these, whether the channel will show up by default and be pinned in the left rail. If we go to the Apps tab, we'll see that this particular template is going to pre-install two different apps, a Wiki and a OneNote. There's also a template for onboarding employees. If we take a look at that template, it's going to have a general announcements, employee chat, and training channel. And in the Apps, it's going to install a Wiki and then the Yammer Communities app. So when you're getting started with Teams templates, be sure to explore all these pre-built templates and see if there's any use cases for these in your environment. Now let's look through how we can create our own custom team template. So to do that from this screen, we'll just select the Add button. And we have a few different options here available to us. So we can create one from scratch, brand new, or we can use an existing team as a template. So if you're already using Teams and you've built out a template for, say, your departmental sites, that you want all of your sites to follow that structure, you can select this Use an Existing Team as a Template option. And if you click Next, this is going to give you a list of all of the teams that you have out there. And you can select the one that you want to use as a template. So if I wanted to use this IT site as a template for all of my departmental team sites, I can select that, click Next, and then continue with customizing this template. So I can give the template itself a name and description. So for the name, I might call it departmental team one, since I'll be showing multiple ways of doing this. We can have a description. So use this template for all departmental teams. We also have the ability to choose the locale. So with Teams, you can have multiple locales for each team. So we can choose the default one here. I'll leave it as English, but you see we have multiple options to choose from. Now, if we click Next, this is where we're going to configure the channels, tabs, and apps that should be included as part of this template. So since I selected Start from an existing team, it pulled in all of the channels and apps that were a part of that. So for this IT one, you'll see I have a general help desk, SharePoint, and special projects. So I can add or remove any of these. So for example, help desk probably isn't applicable for all departmental sites. So I might delete that from my template. This is not going to delete this from the team that I choose to create a template from. So you're safe there. So just delete and click OK. And we can select any one of these and select the edit to change some properties, like whether it should be shown by default, AKA pinned in the team and change the name there. And of course, 
we can select add and adding new channel to be included as part of this. So I might add one here for communications, for example. Click apply and that will save that to your template. And then for the app section, again, this is pulling in all the apps that I had pre-installed for this particular team. I can select this add button and then I can do a search for a particular application. So for example, if in all of my teams, I wanted to add the Salesforce app, I can do a search for sales and find the Salesforce application here and select add. So all these apps will be pre-installed for this team if you use this template now. So you see I have quite a few. I'm using the Power Apps app, SharePoint Forms. And if you notice this inspection and issue reporting, those are actually Project Oakdale apps that I've installed on this team. So in my opinion, coming from a Power Platform standpoint, this is where these Teams templates get really powerful. So take this scenario. If you've built a Power App for a leave request or a timesheet, something like that that you're using across your entire organization, you can put that as part of a Teams template. So now every time anyone sets up, say, a departmental team and uses your template, those Power Apps are included as part of that. Same thing for a Power Virtual Agent or a workflow or just a regular Teams-based application you built. You can have this standardized and included using these Teams templates. All right, so I'm going to apply these changes and we'll click Submit. And this is going to create our new Teams template. Then we see that here as part of our list. And just kind of walking through the scenario again, if we go to Add, so I've walked through if you want to use an existing team as a template. You can also start with an existing template. So if you did want to kind of mimic, say, this manager project template that's out there, we can select that from this option. And it will, again, kind of like we saw before, copy all of the settings of that. And then we can just customize it from here. And then, of course, the brand new is going to give you a blank canvas where you can customize everything from scratch. So I can say department template two, click next. And now we have to fill out whatever channels and apps that we want to add from here. The apps that show up here, they need to be deployed as tenant apps in your app catalog for them to show up here. So if you are leveraging, say, Power Apps in the scenario that I mentioned earlier, you'll have to make sure that you have those deployed as Teams tenant applications for them to show up. So one of the ones that I did this for is my desk reservation one. So if I search for desk, we'll see my desk booking app. So that is a power app that I built and deployed that way. So I can select the add button and have that apply and have that automatically be added for this Teams template. Now, so another thing that we can do, so we have this app and this will be installed for all users when creating your team if we define it here. But how can we designate this app to be pinned as a tab in a given channel as part of this template? Well, we can do that by clicking on one of the channels you have here. So I'll just select the general channel and click edit. And we have this option here for add an app for this template. So if I type in that desk booking scenario again, click add, that is going to actually add this application as a tab on this general channel. So if I click apply, we can define that for multiple channels. So if I were to add another one for, you know, say special projects, and then I can define different tabs for that. So I might have one for my time entry application for the special projects tab and click apply. And that will add that there. So now let's submit this one. So we have two templates that we've just created. And as you can see, that was really simple to set up. And how these templates are going to work from an end user perspective is with inside teams, they click on the teams tab and they'll select this join or create a team option. If you hover over here, you select the create a team button. And now in this list with these templates enabled, rather than just seeing the from scratch or from a group or team, they'll see all the templates available here to choose from. So any custom templates that you create will show up here on that list. So if we knew we we're creating a new team and wanted to use that manager project template, we could select that. It's going to give them a summary of the channels and the apps that are included as part of this template. And then they can just select start. Then they're going to be asked whether this team should be created as a private or a public team. Private meaning that people need permissions to join this team. Public meaning anyone in your organization can join it. So I select the option and then we just give the team a name. Now, if we click create, this is going to create a new team with this template. I do want you to be aware that this can take a while to provision and set up the team. So if it's taking a little bit, don't worry. So once that's done creating this team based off the template, you'll have the option to add members to this. So you can skip that if you don't want to add anyone. So I'm just going to skip that for now. And then we'll see our new team. So you see we have the general. And then if we click out the hidden channels, we have the announcements, planning and resources. 
and the three tabs that were included. There's some good documentation out there if you want to learn more about these Teams templates on the docs.microsoft.com site, which I'll include a link to in the video notes. There are a few things that you need to be aware of about Teams templates right now. One is they currently don't support creating private channels. This is something that I'm sure eventually they'll add the ability to do, but as of right now, if you need to create private channels within the template, that isn't supported. Also, this isn't available in your EDU subscriptions yet. If we take a look at the capabilities here, there are a few properties that aren't supported. So team membership, picture, channel settings, connectors, and files and content aren't supported in Teams template at the moment. So what that means is if you wanted to create a template that included some files and content and different connectors that are pre-populated as part of your template, unfortunately, we can't do that right now. So for right now, this would mainly be for creating a standard structure and applications and tabs within the template. But as they say here, they're going to be adding more template capabilities in future releases. So check back on this documentation because they're going to be updating this as they release new features. Another thing that's came up in the forums about this is, you know, those predefined templates that are out there for us. We don't have the ability to delete those. So those are always going to show up right now as selectable options. So I know a lot of people had some issues with that because there were certain templates that they didn't want to allow users to create teams based off of. I know there's an idea out there on user voice to allow the ability to remove some of these certain predefined templates. So if that is of concern for you, definitely encourage you to upvote that. And then finally, the other thing I wanted to point out is the template size limits. Right now there's limits on how many channels, tabs, and apps you can include in a template. So that's gonna be 15 channels per template, 20 tabs, in 50 applications. And these are just restrictions on what you can include in the template itself. That doesn't mean that after you install and use this template to create a team that you can't add more channels, tabs, and applications into that team. I'm really curious to hear what you think about this new Teams template functionality. If you think it's gonna be useful, what potential use cases you see for that. So give me some feedback and drop a note in the comments. That's really all that I have for you today. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next video.